If you've been following the world of electric mobility and electric cars, you must definitely have heard of the EV6. You may have also seen its photos and some videos, but now for the first time ever, the Kia EV6 has landed in the country. It's all set for its India launch. And today we're at the Budh International Circuit to test drive this car and check out what Kia's flagship electric vehicle model has on offer. You're watching HT Auto. I'm your host, Shubhadeep Chakravarti. And please stay tuned to find out about this car in this episode. Now, even in terms of design among electric vehicles, the preference, of course, is going towards leaning towards sports utility vehicle or SUVs. But Kia has done a smart job by not going the outright masculine butch SUV type form, but more of a crossover, which is what the EV6 is in terms of its design styling highlights. It's a smart looking vehicle. I don't need to go on about it, but just let me indulge here just a bit. Sculpted bonnets add a bit of a muscular uh, profile to the vehicle. You've got the digital Tiger nose grille, which is sort of Kia and yet a new form of Kia, if you may. You get the LED projector headlights on the front. The entire design is very, very sharp, adds to the sporty appeal. You get uh, the sequential uh, turn indicators here, which again makes it look smart. And just under that is the really sporty design of the front bumper. Now, this car also comes with adaptive high beam technology, so you can drive the EV6 on high beam without dazzling the incoming or the traffic from the opposite direction. Now, on the side, this car stands on 19 inch alloy wheels. The alloy design itself is really nice, but the 19 inch wheels add a lot of character to this vehicle. In fact, it looks bigger than that figure would actually suggest. There are strong character line on the car. There is one stretching from the A right up till almost the uh, rear fender here, the C pillar. And there is a character line from the bottom going all the way back to this crossoverish roof profile at the rear. You also get large windows on this car and the door handles are the fold in fold out type. So press of a button and the door handles flush out. So that's something premium and smart as well. A very interesting thing is that Kia has gone very easy with chrome on the EV6. So you just get one slight strip of chrome at the rear profile, which to me, frankly, is the best angle and side to view this car on. Just take a look at this EV6 from the rear. This is, of course, the GT line, but even then it looks really smart. There is an LED tail light unit all the way from one side to the other. There are a rear reverse camera and a rear fog light as well. The lights, when the light up, is absolutely stunning to look at. You get the KIA logo, nicely done. EV6 written right here. And there's a button to open the boot. And there is massive, massive amount of boot space. 520 liters of boot space in this car. Fold the second row seats and it goes to well over a thousand liters as well. The EV6 is a practical car and because it's electric, the storage is not just limited to inside the cabin but also under the bonnet. A small enclosed space under the bonnet is good enough for some regular day grocery shopping. Now obviously I can't wait to get inside this car and show you what all it has. In fact, the EV6 has a cabin that you've never seen inside any Kia here in India or anywhere else in the world. Starting with the 12.3 inch main infotainment screen. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now you press the ignition button, the seat adjusts automatically to your preferred driving position. The screen lights up here and there is another 12.3 inch driver display. Now, once you do settle in, there is just so much to look forward to inside this car. Kia tends to do a fantastic job with uh, touch screens and on the EV6, it had to be a job really, really well done. So what do you get inside the main infotainment screen? It's an EV. So of course you'll get uh, EV related information. It currently has 95% battery, 433 kilometer range, 
Now press of a button, you get your usual functionalities that uh, include map, navigation, phone, phone projection, Kia Connect, this car obviously supports uh, the Kia Connect app on your mobile phone. There is dual zone climate control, which you can control from here. If you're giving this car to a valet, just press the valet button and that's it. Other things like quiet mode, radio, media are pretty much the usual fare. Now it's very, very responsive to touch, but that of course was a given that this is a Kia. It's also very bright. And from the extensive use before we started shooting this, uh, we touched the screen to explore everything about it. But surprisingly, there is no fingerprint anywhere on the screen right here. Now, even the 12.3 inch driver display is really, really bright uh, and it puts out a lot many controls. So you get switch on the car. The interface is absolutely brilliant. The HUD screen display is also great. We'll come to the HUD in just a bit. But what all you get here? Well, again, because this is an EV, primary thing to look forward to is the range. 439 kilometers. You press a button, there is um, information for the ADAS system. Again, something we'll come to a little later in this review. Uh, another press of a button, you get drive related information and one more and you get the compass direction button. In fact, this car also has three drive modes. So you get Eco, Sport. You can control all of that through a button on the steering wheel. You can take a look at the steering right here. It's again a design that you've not seen on any other Kia model so far. But coming back to the drive mode, just press a button and you can go from Eco to normal to sport and the entire interface even the color on the screen changes from blue to blue to red but the biggest highlight inside the cabin is this futuristic center console just take a look at this center console it is done in piano black yes it does attract a bit of fingerprint but it is just so so stylish to look at starting from right the, at the front you get uh, controls for your seat ventilation it has front seat ventilation it has steering warmers and all of that can be controlled at just a press of a button the silver finish here and a blue line running all around it is visually extremely aesthetic just under that is the ignition button you get ev written very prominently here then you have this nice large dial it's got blue light right here so you can adjust it and put it to D and you'll be ready to go for now though we'll slot it back to N and then there is reverse as well there is 360 degree camera view on this car so that can be activated at just the press of a button and next to it is the auto hold functionality and parking assistance button in terms of convenient features you get cup holders right here you get really really large under uh, central armrest storage space this is in fact one of the largest storage spaces under the armrest that I've seen on any car, hands down. You're running out of battery on your phone, so you can place it on the 15 volt fast charging system here. It comes with cooling functionality that you've seen in some of the other Kia models as well. But if you don't want to use this pad or your phone is not compatible with wireless charging, no worries. You get as many as four charging points for the front passenger and the driver. So you get one conventional side USB, one type C USB point, another 12 volt charging point. You can of course use an aftermarket socket here and extend the number of points and another type C charging point right here. Now the overall layout of the dashboard is also pretty premium. Now just take a look at the dashboard design right here. It has a race car like feel. It's of course a street car and a street EV, but this has been done really well. Do remember that Kia continues to underline that almost everything that you see here inside the car is in uh, in some sort of way sourced from sustainable sources. So the suede leather seats that you see here, well, sourced from uh, vegan sources is what they say. The plastics used are recycled plastics, so that's great as well. And the feel of this car, the design element, along with a sense of uh, emphasis on sourcing from sustainable sources is great as well. You, by the way, cannot miss the sunroof that you get inside this car. So that's more or less conventional. Press of a button, it opens up and that's great as well. Now there is massive amounts of storage space for your knickknacks and something even larger. So there is storage space for uh, small bottles on the door and something that's very very smart and looks really nice is a storage space under the center console so i have this bag right here and uh, 
assuming that I'll need things from this bag from time to time or the front passenger win, you can just store this bag right here for easy access. But what does the EV6 have on offer for passengers at the back? Come, let's take a look. Now, even when you're on the back seat, the EV6 continues to impress on most counts. Curtsy, several things. For example, the design of the front seats are so unique that the passengers at the back still have a nice view of the road ahead. The front seats are also 10-way adjustable and have memory functionality. But even if the seat is quite far back, you have impressive amounts of knee room for yourself. The under thigh support is fantastic and Please pay attention to the floor bed here. There is no central tunnel because this is an EV. So even the passenger in the middle has a lot of space for his or her feet. There is some storage space uh, behind the front seats, more on the side doors, those are usual fares. There is piano black finish, which continues to attract fingerprint, but if you can maintain it, it looks very premium. You get AC vents on either side here on the pillar. The EV6 has an ace up its sleeves and it is right here. It's a home charging point as you see in our homes and Kia says, claims that just with this you can power home electronic equipment right from your laptop to microwave and if you're camping and you have some space you can even uh, take your television set and use this to power it. Uh, if there is another electric vehicle on the road which is which has run out of juice then you can just use a simple cable from the EV6 to that particular model and power that vehicle. It will be slow charging of course but maybe as an SOS emergency case the EV6 can be a great rescue vehicle as well. The EV6 can be charged from 10% to 80% in about 18 minutes using a 350 kilowatt charger and a 50 kilowatt charger will take 73 minutes to take the car from the same 10 to 80 percent. The WLTP or European Standard Certified range of the EV6 stands at a little over 500 kilometers and that's very impressive. Kia claims that this figure can be increased even further. Of course a racetrack really is no testing ground for the range. So we frankly did what the EV6 was at the booth to do. Performance. The EV6 goes from 0 to 100 kmph in around 5.2 seconds and we put the car to the test and this figure was absolutely on spot. The EV6 has a certain heft to its drive characters which is a good thing because EVs generally tend to fly and in sport mode this EV definitely does. But that same heft sort of keeps things grounded even when the 100 kmph mark and beyond comes up easily enough. The steering also has a certain degree of clout to it which helps in taking tight turns without being overwhelmed. The EV6 comes with something called the iPedal technology which basically translates to regenerative braking. The regenerative braking has different modes to it but even at its maximum the braking wasn't too overwhelming. For most parts body roll in the driver's seat even at relatively high speeds seem to be well in control. There are two brake configurations, one is the regular and the other is the sport braking which enhances the experience of an exhilarating drive. The EV6 is equipped with a number of ADAS features which includes forward collision avoidance assistance, lane keep assist, blind spot collision, safe exit assist, lane follow assist and more. Electric mobility is levelling the playing field for auto manufacturers and the EV6 is a perfect example here. It's got premium looks, a whole lot of features on the inside and a lot many things that you've not seen in any car electric or conventional so far in the country. This is coming via the CBU route here so that means this one will also carry a premium price tag. The exact figures of course we'll know in the time to come. In this episode though that's all the time we have. Do let us know how you like the Kia EV6. For now though this is me Shubhadeep signing out.